Hey guys, here's the deal. Okay, so for some reason, because we only have like three months left of 2021, I'm suddenly feeling a sense of urgency to use up a bunch of stuff before the end of the year. And I'm just feeling like I have way too much stuff, especially skincare and body care type of things that I don't have that much left of or I could reasonably use these things up within the next few months and I would just like to challenge myself to see how many of these things I can finish by the end of the year. I have picked 25 items, which sounds like a lot. I want to use up all of these things before the end of 2021. I was definitely inspired by Lauren May Beauty to do this kind of thing because she recently posted like a project pan blitz because she's getting ready to move at the end of the year and so she picked out, I think it was hers was probably like 50 plus items that she wants to try to use up before the end of 2021. I'm not moving this year, but I still thought it was such a good idea and I just wanted to kind of clear some things out. A lot of sunscreens, a lot of skincare, body care, couple of makeup things. Now I do have a rolling project 10 pan going on um, throughout the entire year of 2021. I do it every year um, and that is mostly makeup if not, well currently it's all makeup. So those are things that of course I'm working on. Hopefully many of them will be finished by the end of the year. Um, but this, I do have a couple of makeup things here, but I basically just wanted to round up a bunch of things that I want to finish before the end of the year. I've not decided yet how I want to update this project. I want it to be more of a chill, kind of casual project pan. I don't want this to be like a super structured one with all kinds of rules and stuff. I just want it to be pretty laid back, but I just want all these things to be in my empties before the end of the year. So I think it might make sense to just kind of have my empties be my updates. I don't know that I need to have like a monthly update or anything. If you guys feel strongly that I should update this monthly or maybe like at the halfway point or something, let me know. But maybe at the end of the year I will revisit these things and we can kind of talk about how I did. So let me know if you have any thoughts on that, but let's go ahead and talk about these products that I want to finish by the end of the year. I'm going to start with the two makeup items. These are just things I don't want to bring with me into the new year. First thing is the e.l.f. Lash It Loud Mascara. This is just a mini and I will use this. I don't love this because it does smudge pretty badly on me, but I'm planning on just using it on days where maybe it's not super humid. I'm not going to be wearing my makeup for a very long amount of time, so I'm not so worried about staying power of mascara or maybe I'm just like filming a reel that day and then like washing my makeup off, that kind of thing where I'm just kind of doing a look for fun and it doesn't matter so much about the staying power of my mascara. So because this is a mini, I definitely think I can use this up for the end of the year and then I can just be done with it. And then another thing is this brow gel. This is the Jordana Feather Brow Gel. I feel like I don't really need brow gels in my routine anymore, especially now that I've discovered the e.l.f. Shape and Stay Brow Wax. But I do want to just use this up. I've had it open for over a year now, but it's still going strong. But I do think if I use it every day or most days that I wear makeup, I should be able to knock this out by the end of the year. So those are the two makeup products. These aren't really things that I would normally put in a project pan because you can't really track your progress on this type of thing, but I just want them. I want them out of my life before the end of the year. I have a bunch of sunscreens that I want to finish by the end of the year. Some are body, some are face sunscreens, and this might seem like a lot, but I, I do apply a generous amount of sunscreen and I even like to reapply throughout the day. So I think, I think this should be doable. This first one is the Baba Botanicals Clear Zinc Sunscreen SPF 30. This is a sunscreen that I mainly use on my body. It's a little bit too white casty on my face. But on the body, it's fine. I don't have much of this left. It actually says it expired in March of 2021, which I know I shouldn't use expired sunscreen. But as far as I know, mineral sunscreens don't really degrade the same way that chemical sunscreens do. And I'm already not, I'll just be honest, I'm already not the most diligent about sunscreen on my body when I'm just like indoors most of the day. So honestly, any amount of the sunscreen that I can use is better than what I am normally doing on a typical day. So um, I've already used up a lot of this. I marked it right here, although I think there might even be less than that. Like this is something I could probably use up in a week if I use it every day, just like on my arms. So I'm gonna try to do that. I really don't think that should be too hard. Another Babo sunscreen I wanna use up. This was included in this year's mineral sunscreen video where I ranked a bunch of mineral sunscreens. Um, and this is their Daily Sheer Tinted Sunscreen SPF 30. The reason I'm including this is because this expires in January of 2022. I went ahead and marked it right here. So there's a lot left, but 
considering, I mean, if I'm using just one sunscreen every single day, I can go through it within probably a month or maybe a month and a half. So I think I think I should be able to finish this before the end of the year. All right, this is just a mini sunscreen, but it's the Paula's Choice Clear Ultra Light Daily Hydrating Fluid. This will be very doable. There's already not that much left in here. Um, and this expires in December of 2022, so there's definitely still time. But also, because at the start of 2022, I'm going to start preparing for my next sunscreen roundup that'll go up like in the spring, I want to use up as many of my 2021 sunscreens as I can before that. So this shouldn't be too hard. And then I also want to use up the Coco Kind Daily SPF. This is SPF 32, another mineral sunscreen. There's really not much left in here either. In fact, a lot of this is just air. Okay, so this is one that actually made a brief appearance in my regular year-long project pan this year. This is the Pacifica SPF 45 Set and Protect Matte Sheer Setting Mist. So this is meant to be a setting spray for your face. It's something that I occasionally use to touch up throughout the day if I'm wearing makeup and I want to still reapply sunscreen. This expires at the end of this year, December 2021, and this is a chemical sunscreen, so I do want to finish it by then. But a lot of people were suggesting that I use this on my body instead of my face, and so I think that is exactly what I'm going to do um, once I'm done with the Babo one. I don't want to spray it on my body, but I'll probably what I'll do is just spray it into my hand and then rub that onto my body, and I think I should be able to finish this up pretty quickly using it that way. I'll probably occasionally use this on my face, but I really, I don't love this on my face. It's so strongly scented and it just makes my makeup kind of break down. So I'm not in love with that for the face, but definitely can use it up on the body. Oh yeah, one last sunscreen I want to finish by the end of the year. This is the Garnier Pore, per Pore Perfecting Canopy Serum Cream. There's really not much left in here. It's very hard to say for sure. I would guess that it's probably like down to here-ish. This will probably be a team effort between me and my boyfriend to finish this because he also really likes this. So um, thinking that we can get this knocked out this year, this does not have an expiration date on it. So that's why I just wanna try to use it up just in case. All right, next up for skincare. So I feel like I've just accumulated so much skincare over the past several months, mainly through PR, which I'm so grateful for, but I wanna try to focus on the products that I know I can finish by the end of the year because I, I just kind of want to clear out my stash a little bit. First thing, this I can definitely finish as long as I actually use it. Um, this is the Versed Skin Soak Rich Moisture Cream. There's not a whole lot left of this, but I just want to use this one up before I move on to any of my other moisturizers, because um, I have way more moisturizers than I need right now. And then once that is done, I would like to finish my Paula's Choice Replenishing Moisturizer. This I would say I'm about halfway done with. You can see that's about where it is. And um, I've already used up one of these before. I really like this moisturizer. Um, and I think it is a little bit more rich than the Versed one. So I think this will be great as we get into the even colder months. So this will be up next after the Versed one is finished. I told you there's a lot of products here. So I'm trying to kind of go quickly. Another Paula's Choice product I want to finish. This I've had for so long. I've had it since like early 2020. And it's just taking me forever to go through. Um, I usually go through skincare much faster than that, but this is the Paula's Choice Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum with Retinol. So because I use Tretinoin on my face, I've been just using this on my neck. It's just something I forget to do. And you can see there's really like hardly anything left in here. I just need to push myself to finish up the rest of it and then move on. <laughs> I was originally using this on my face, but then when I started using Tretinoin, it was just not that useful, but my neck can definitely use it because I don't use the prescription tretinoin on my neck. This is like a much gentler form of retinol here. All right, um, another couple of serums I want to use up. First, I have the Ordinary Argyrline Solution 10%. This is basically supposed to like plump up your fine lines and they say to mainly use it on the forehead and around the eyes. So I usually just use like three or four drops of it. So I don't go through it super quickly, but I only have like this much left. So I'd like to go ahead and finish that off this year. Another serum I'd like to finish is the Pharmacy Filling Good Hyaluronic Acid Plumping Serum. I use this in the morning just for a little bit of extra boost of hydration. This might be kind of challenging to use up, but I don't think so because at the rate I've been using it, I've already used quite a bit of it. And so if I'm actually like trying to use it up, I think I can definitely finish it by the end of the year. I have about half of it left. Um, and that's only using it like kind of on and off throughout the past like four or five months. So 
Let's see how I do on that. Oh, another Paula's Choice product I want to just go ahead and polish off. This is their Lip and Body Treatment Balm. I only have like a teeny tiny bit of this left. I just use so little of this at a time that it's taking, it's taking me so long to go through this. I've had this for as long as I've had the Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum because I ordered these. These were in the same order in like March of 2020. I don't know why I remember that. But yeah, I just want to go ahead and finish this because I have a lot of other lip balms that I would like to use up. This is my favorite lip balm ever. Highly recommend it. Um, but it's kind of getting old, so I just want to use it up. All right, and then I have two masks that I want to use. The first one is more of like, well, you can either use this as a leave-on mask or like an overnight sleeping mask, but this is the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. And this is okay, it's fine, but this is so expensive. I did receive this in PR, but I think this is like 50 something dollars for this tiny tube. If you want a good sleeping mask, just get the Paula's Choice Skin Recovery one. You get way more product in there. Um, but I just want to go ahead and finish this because it's such a small tube. I don't think it should be too hard. I'll probably just use this as my night cream when I'm wanting an even heavier moisturizer than my typical one. And then the other mask I have is the Versed Look Alive Hydrating Plumping Mask. I've only used this once so far and they say it has 12 plus applications. So presumably I have 11 applications left, maybe more. So this is not a leave-on mask. It is a rinse-off one. I like it because it doesn't dry down on my face. It's it stays like a gel and then you just rinse it off. So the one time I used it, I really liked it. I think I will enjoy this. I just need to remember to use it because for some reason I just always forget to use face masks. I do have one hair product I'll go ahead and talk about. This was actually in my like skin and hair care project pan last year. And I want to finally finish this. This is the Trader Joe's Shea Butter and Coconut Oil Hair Serum. My hair now is much longer than it was last year when I was trying to use this up. And I had a really hard time using it last year. This is like, these were my progress marks. I used up like the tiniest little amount every time. But I am now down to here. So I've used a lot since then. And now that my hair is longer, I'm thinking I'll just apply this to my hair after I get out of the shower. I do really like what this does for my hair. I feel like it just kind of softens it up and... I don't know, it just makes my hair feel like extra smooth and silky. So I want to I wanna use this up because this is, I can't believe this is still hanging around. <laughs> the only reason it is is because I always forget to use it. So lastly, I have a bunch of body care stuff. And <laughs> let's go ahead and talk about this giant thing. I would like to use up these bath salts from Soothing Touch. This is the Tuscan Bouquet Rest and Relax Bath Salts. I really just want to use this up because I want to encourage myself to take more baths. I love taking baths. I just go through phases where I, I just go a long time without taking one. And then when I do again, I'm just like, wow, why, why did I not do that sooner? So I just want to start taking a bath like maybe once a week, maybe every other week. Just consistently taking baths because I feel like it just does wonders for relaxation and just, I don't know, just helping me kind of clear my mind. So... Um, this is basically full. I've only used it once. But you know, with bath salts, you pour a pretty significant amount into the bath each time. So I think I should be able to finish this by the end of the year for no reason other than I just want to take more baths, especially as we get into the cooler weather. Ooh, it's going to be so nice. And speaking of baths, I also want to finish up this Aura Acacia Aromatherapy Bubble Bath in the lavender scent. The scents go really nicely together. I used to not love the smell of lavender, but lately it's been growing on me. I definitely do feel like it is a very relaxing scent. So I um, want to use that up along with the bath salts. A nice little encouragement to treat myself. We're speeding right along here. I've got some body lotions I want to finish. First up, I have this Live Clean Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I also mixed in some rosehip seed oil in there. So it's kind of just a concoction of both. Really like it. I feel like this plus the rosehip seed oil is a beautiful combo. And you can see I only have a little bit left in there. So I've been so much better about moisturizing my body after every single shower. I used to almost never do it and now I can't believe I never did it in the past because I just feel so dry when I don't do it now. So it's also just good for your skin to moisturize it. Um, I'm great about moisturizing my face, just I used to not be so much about my body, but just want to go ahead and finish this off because there's, I mean, there's so little left. Let's just knock it out. And then another body lotion. This is kind of a, it's not the Elf Holy Hydration Cream, even though it's in an old jar of that. It is a mixture of that same body lotion plus a highlighter, like a liquid highlighter that I mixed in there. There's probably like two uses left in here. And it's just nice for like a slightly glowy body lotion for my legs or like my shoulders, my collarbone. So I want to finish that off as well. It's just been like sitting on my bathroom counter and I want to get rid of it. 
Another body lotion. I know this probably seems like a lot, but this one also only has, let me mark it, this much left. So between this and the Live Clean one and that little amount of the other one, I think that will probably get me through the whole rest of the year. And yeah, I just want to just want to use it up. This is the, oh, I didn't even say what it is. This is the Kopari Coconut Body Milk. And it smells really good. I really enjoy the scent of this. Speaking of Kopari, I've got a couple other things from them. They sent me a few PR packages this year, and I just want to use these things up. So this is their California Glow Enzyme Scrub. I've been using this as a body scrub. It's meant for your face, but I just don't use scrubs on my face. And there's really not much left in here. And I've only used it like maybe three times for the body. So it was a pretty small amount to go like all over my body. So I just want to get that finished and move on with my life. And then this is one I'm going to have to really push myself to use. But if I do, I can definitely finish it by the end of the year. This is the Kapari Pink Souffle Body Mask. So I don't love this. I kind of just think it's a little bit of a gimmick. I've already used it once. You can see there's a lot of it taken out of there, which tells me I maybe have like four or five uses left. You're meant to use this as a clay mask on your body. It's supposed to help clarify skin. Niacinamide helps minimize the appearance of pores and smooth skin. And our coconut oil hydrates like no other. So you're supposed to just smooth onto your body or use as a targeted treatment on your booty, belly, back, boobs, or wherever you feel, wherever you need it most. I just feel like this is so annoying because you're, you're supposed to apply it to clean skin. So you come out of the shower, you dry off, then you put this on, then you wait 10 minutes, and then you have to get back in the shower and rinse it off. And I'm just like, once I've already showered, I want to just be done with my shower, you know? And it's not easy to rinse off because it is a clay mask. You have to kind of like rub it off in certain areas. So it's just a little bit of a hassle, but... I'm hoping that by using it more, maybe I'll notice some benefits. If any, does anyone have this and like really like it? Because maybe I'm just missing something about it. Let me know. Okay, I think the last thing is just another lotion. This is the Bliss Lemon and Sage Body Butter Maximum Moisture Cream. This is pretty full, and I use this as a hand cream. I keep it on my desk. I apply hand cream all throughout the day, so I do think this is something I could use up by the end of the year as long as I make a point to use it. So that is the last thing. I feel like that was such a quick like breeze through all these products, but it's a lot of products, so I wanted to get through all of them. But those are, I think, 25, as long as I counted correctly. Those are the 25 products that I want to be done with by the end of the year. I want these to be in my empties at some point before the end of the year. So wish me luck. If anybody wants to join in and do something similar, I would love to have you along for the ride. Let me know how you want me to update this, if you want me to update this. Again, you'll see updates in my empties. I'm basically planning on just writing all these down on a piece of paper, and then as I use them up, crossing them off one by one. I think that'll be really satisfying. So anyway, thank you for joining me for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I'll leave my Project Pan playlist link down below if you want more content like this. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you've not already. If you want even more of me, I also have a Patreon now. I'd love to see you over there as well. And hopefully I will talk to you again very soon in my next video. Bye.